58% done. Oops. Gauge forward gear, let's go towards. Now I do have a Ford uh, mod pack downloaded. I'm not sure it's a pack. I, actually, I don't know if it's a pack or whether it's a, a single. I mean, I could do a playthrough with Ford and the old New Holland so 8310 or something like that. The one that looks like a Ford because it was a Ford before New Holland bought them out. And so it's kind of like the class Atlees. The Atlees was actually a Renault. But class purchased Renault AG. And so repainted the Atlees into the green and white colours of the class tractors. class equipment, because at the time class only made uh, harvesters and other equipment, they didn't make tractors, so they bought Renault Ag, which gave them access to a small tractor, a medium tractor, in the Atlees, and then the first tractor they produced was the Zerian, which, that's kind of a step up. You look at a lot of manufacturers and they tend to be on the small side and class just said hey we're we're just gonna build build the biggest tractor we can. Not that the Zerian is a bad tractor, I like the Zerian. But then obviously they phased out the Atlees in favour of the oh what was it? Um, the Axion and the Arian. Now this playthrough I don't have all of the mods loaded for. Uh, Mrs. Osa and I, or Mrs. Osa agreed to play with me. So uh, the mods available are the Valtra Tractor Pack, which I wanted to use on a playthrough anyway. And then outside of that, mostly the Quality of life mods. Um, I've got the clock. I've got follow me loaded. Although I don't think we've ever used follow me on this playthrough. Which why bother? Because there's two of us. Uh, we've got the real. Um, what's it? Rain or yeah, weight. So our tractors do struggle up hills. Everything was twice. A realistic weight as opposed to the in-game weight which is about half what it should be. And then a couple of equipment mods. Uh, I'm not sure if I have any building mods loaded. This, yeah, this was set up quite early on. But uh, any of my other playthroughs, because I play solo most of them, or I will uh, yeah, unselect all and then reselect all whenever I start the next session. Yeah, 
I don't think class tractors are particularly popular in America. And I haven't done a John Deere farm yet either. So we might look at that sometime as well. Seventeen is forty-four, forty-one. Let's do a. Uh, oh wait. You lose the stats page. That's it. Done. So I am not able to uh, check on. How many uh, have we actually produced? I don't know if we missed any. There's a bunch of bits all around the field, but I'm not sure whether it's a full bale's worth. Okay. Go for it and see what you can find. bits over here. I think some of this is my bad wing running. Yeah. Well, we're probably going to end up with as much in the baler as we started with. Yes. We'll do a once around the field, see if we see any bales hiding in trees. Well, it pretty much looks like we've got most of the grass. I would say this field is done. So, uh, pick up. So, forty one by also. I think it's this one. No. Potentially the shed is the place to sell. But we're off to the barn because that's where the contract called for. Them.
the uh, street lamps this time. I will to be able to go back to our yard around the back road. So we won't have to play with the traffic on the way home. So my tractor's already 75% maintenance. So they are the faster they wear out, the more it costs you to fix them. Not because it's more expensive to fix them, but because it's more frequent to fix them. and driving. Yeah, our local um, farmer, there's there's a field up for sale which is a grass field and so he generally cuts that twice a year and bales it up and he uses a class round baler for the baling work. Not, I haven't seen the mower kit he's using, but I don't think it's very substantial. And the mower is capable of a limited amount of wind rowing. So he doesn't row the grass, he just cuts it and then runs the round baler through it. Okay, alright, that's that button there. So, stand by for money. And how did we do? 1500, wow, that's awesome. Yeah. And another 9,000, so 10,000 overall. It's. If the contract had called for silage, we'd have made a killing, but uh, sadly this time he wanted hay, so. Not so great. But it's 10,000 more than we had at the beginning of the day, so... Well, at the beginning of the session. So it's not that bad. I think that's actually enough to buy four more cows, but not enough to pay for the delivery. because it's a short
Okay, we'll all jump out and close the cow park. Well, actually, let's check the cows. Hi, cows. One, two, three. Which means there should be five out the back. Hi, cows. Cool. We have cows. Cool little shed, but I think it only takes about 50 cows. So. Not a great potential. Uh, it's kind of adequate for this farm. We, we're not we're selling our silage at the moment rather than uh, keeping it for feed. But to get the operation set up properly, we'd need a food mixer and other stuff. Uh, more importantly, we need uh, a milk tender. So we can take the milk for sale. Okay. The tent is still over at the other yard. Oh, okay. I shall be very much faster than you at that bit. careful adjustments. It's relatively easy to do. One of the first times I landed a light plane at Camarillo that was a wicked crosswind and I was fighting it all the way down and it was, well, we landed on the tarmac but we weren't on the centre line by any stretch of the imagination and after shooting about three or four landings and you know, made doing what was effectively an adequate landing. Yeah. We landed on the tarmac, but we were nowhere near the numbers. Um, basically said, I can do much better than this, because in England I was flying out of uh, Stapleford Abbots, which the tarmac runway is about as wide as the wings on a Cessna. So you really had to place the plane exactly where it needed to be. And so the next time I went round, I kind, I kind of relaxed rather than fighting the wind and made very, very gentle adjustments until I got the plane exactly at the right attitude for the, for the crosswind and then to get the plane online, it was just very, very gentle adjustments of the controls and then returning it back to where the plane was flying neutral. Keep doing that until I got it online and I put that plane down on the numbers. It wasn't a particularly comfortable landing because the crosswind meant you were landing uh, with one wing down. So it was sort of one wheel, another wheel, another wheel. And it was a pretty good idea, nonetheless. So, I'll grab that and take it home. I'll 
probably wash it. It's, it's a couple of hours. I guess it is as though it's already uh, washed her tractor. The guy who does the baling with the class baler is the only right person I've seen baling grass in this area. I've seen fields with bales, but he's the only one I've actually caught in the act, so to speak. So, real time 11.30 on the East Coast. Half past midday then time. Probably could do with a check on the field status before we go to bed. This area here is our farm. Let's click on the grass. So grass hasn't started growing yet. This is close to harvest, I think. These are still just planted, so haven't started growing yet. Okay, so nothing much in the way of fear own farm field work to do. We'll go and give them an eyeball just to make sure. So, nothing to sell. Equipment. Okay, we still need to fix the weeder, we still need to fix the plough and the harvester header before we uh, do any more with it. Down to 150,000 loan. Cows are happy. 164 hours until we get a new cow. Uh, that's probably around a week. Two sevens, 140. Four sevens, 28. So yeah, about seven days before we get a cow. Uh, one contract left to do. 11,000 to fertilize field one. Probably going to give that a miss. This is field one. I've already fertilized it once and it was a real pain to do. So, jump up in there. And the tractor's still ready, so we will run this into the shed. Horses are all ready. Oops, 
truck up there. Drive back to the house and have some lunch. Whitehawk, thanks for the cheer. I believe that was it. No, it wasn't, yeah. Okay, something dinged, and I don't see what it was. Hmm. Okay, anyway. We're going to call that a day. to get the mowing contract out we managed to feed the cows and we managed to plant the field with soybeans so we're in good stead at the moment uh, looks like it's going to be cloudy later today so that's not too much of a big deal obviously the issue is is there's so much shadows in this uh, farm Mrs. Osa is not particularly interested in uh, chopping down trees and making loads of money from chopping down trees. It's a good map to do that with. Um, there are a lot of trees on this map. <coughs> but we're kind of into a small farm holding. I think the farm is successful. It's not incredibly successful but we're definitely making money we started off with debt of uh, 250,000 we're down to 150,000 and apart from just buying just the equipment we needed we've also got two horses and eight cows which is uh, sort of extra and we're not making any income from any of our animals right this minute. Obviously there is milk, there is slurry, there is manure. But eight cows don't produce enough to, uh, to really turn over a good, you know, a good income. Uh, anyway, I will say thank you for watching. Um, I will be back, as I said, tomorrow with Old Stream Farm, probably after 9 o'clock. Um, in the meantime, everyone have a good time. I'm out of here. <laughs>